Hello and welcome to the 10 day trend forecast from the Met Office. October was a pretty mild month and there are signs that the first part of October will show a change in that. It does look at least a little bit colder. Nothing exceptional or too unusual about that, but it'll be more noticeable because October was so mild. It's been a pretty dry week, but we are seeing signs of something of a change. A bit of rain around on Saturday and the potential for some heavier rain through the early part of next week. More on that in a moment. First of all, let's look at the big picture. Low pressure down to the southwest and a weather front trickling its way steadily south across the UK on Thursday, introducing something of a switch around, introducing colder but brighter conditions across northern Britain, some sunshine returning here, but a cloudier day across the south. And there could be some stubborn fog patches as well, too, across the south on Thursday. Assuming they clear, we should still see temperatures in the teens, but that cold front introducing a much colder feel with lower temperatures further north. Another cold front approaching the north on Friday and this weather system down to the southwest starts to have an impact too. They're both sort of squeezing together, introducing more moisture. Now, most of us will be dry for much of Friday, but on Friday night we are expecting some heavy rain to develop, which will slowly amble across the UK on Saturday morning. So yes, some rain around it looks like on Saturday, that more persistent, potentially heavy rain will be followed by showers. The showers though easing by Sunday and uh, if you're after a dry day this weekend then at the moment Sunday is the better bet with some sunny skies as well but it is going to be feeling colder and you'll particularly notice that at night so just bear that in mind if you're going to a firework display this weekend it will be pretty chilly in the evenings. Now, also with fireworks comes a greater risk of mist and fog. The extra particulates from the bonfires and the fireworks do allow things to be foggy. So it could be a bit of a foggy one on Monday morning, but probably a greater thing you'll notice on Monday morning, the temperatures. It may well be pretty cold again to start the working week. An example of uh, temperatures in the countryside on Monday morning could be a few degrees below freezing, particularly across central and eastern areas. In the west, perhaps not quite as cold, and that's because potentially we'll start to see a change again through Monday. Low pressure well to the north, high pressure to the south, bit of a scrap going on and there is some uncertainty about exactly when this weather front will arrive but it does look as if it will introduce some wet weather through the early part of next week. Now it could be further east, it could stay a bit further west but there is the risk of that heavy rain through Monday and possibly more into Tuesday. Now, after the early part of next week, uh, things become, again, more uncertain still. Now, again, nothing unusual about that. We're talking a week away now. I'm going to show you a couple of meteograms that just give you a flavor of the weather through next week. The date you can see there along the bottom. This top graph shows rainfall. Uh, the larger the uh, blob there, the greater the uncertainty, but there are signs there that we'll see some rain on Saturday and then this is the potential for that rain to arrive on Tuesday. Again, the size of the blob or the spike, the greater the uncertainty. So you can see that beyond Tuesday there is a lot of uncertainty about how much rainfall we will see. And this bottom graph shows the temperature trend. Again, the greater the blob, the greater the uncertainty. This red line is the average maximum temperature. And you can see, I think, there's a trend there that the blobs are generally just a bit below that average line. So that's a, a trend potentially that temperatures will be a little below average by day. Uh, the blue, that's the overnight temperatures, and there's even greater uncertainty there. And of course, temperatures at night this time of year are so dependent on how much cloud cover there will be. So there is a lot of uncertainty as we go beyond the middle of next week, but there are a few things we can pick out. It looks like there'll only be slow and steady changes, no dramatic changes in the weather. There is that colder trend, and I think I'm more likely to see some overnight frost. Again, nothing unusual about that, but they were so scarce through October that it may just become a bit of a shock to the system. Now, this is all a long way off, so stay tuned to the forecast. You can always get more on the Met Office website, and you can actually find out more there also about the October weather statistics.